Babe. Don't call me that. What is this? What do you mean? Like, what are we? We is a pronoun used by a speaker to refer to himself or herself <sighs> to one or more people considered oh together. Are you serious? You know what I meant. Shall I use that as a sentence? We are two people on the same page, hoping not to turn to the next one. What? Okay. You have a good weekend. And don't forget to take that plan B or plan A would be to kill you. Boy. He called. Hey, go. Hey, more passion. More passion. More passion. More energy. More energy. More footwork. More footwork. More footwork. More passion. More energy. More energy. Would you rather date? A 50 year old man that's not really attractive to you, but he's wealthy, or somebody your age that's grinding towards their goal, but right now they're not financially stable. A 50 year old for right now, because um, he can support my lifestyle that I want. So like, you don't really care about the guy that's like working towards his goal? I don't care about looks, I care about money. Say another motherfucking word and this shit is over. And I ain't playing, nigga. If you're broke, there, there's no chance. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how old you are. If you're broke, don't even think about approaching me. Hello? No. If you're ugly and you have money, you're, you're, you have money. That's all that matters. Money rules the world. Money, money, money. I need money. We all need money to survive. You be a nigga. Tough, right? Uh, during the surgery. During the surgery. Yes, I, I had me a 77-year-old. Um, Girl, that don't count. Come on now. But that was the, wait a minute, no. <laughs> but I loved it him, I loved it him, I loved it him. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. Still alive? Is he yes, still? he is still alive. Okay. He is still alive and well, we are still married and when my and when the thing is we we had a different type of situation he's the one who helped me with my surgeries that's why 22,000 we did 12,000 implants my first set of implants mm -hmm. we did 7,000 for the second set mm -hmm. we did uh my BBL Damn, all what that. he do for a living he must retire real good oh yeah so you really are a, a yes she's a hoe i was definitely a baby doll we don't see very many women who have surgeries marry a lot of times they're posing up posting going to dubai on trips they never show the Good, men Mary. that they're with Follow. like when my husband died cha-ching in your eye okay <laughs> someone has to fucking flip the burgers dumbass <laughs> Huh? I can't understand you. You know what she said? <laughs> bro, can you get out of here? You see, you see her obviously scared. Come on. Can you dip, bro? <laughs> obviously, bro, you're all drunk and shit, bro. She doesn't want to be near you. Can you dip? Can you leave, please? Like, you see her fucking in the corner. Can you? <laughs> all right, bro, can you go get this? Yeah, let's can, go. Let's can you not, bro? Put can you not? Fence, please. Yeah. It's my wife. Let's go. Uh, she's she's Let's go. Uh, she yeah, says. She, she looks like she's been playing. We've been drunk. We've been drinking. She's. Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? This is pimping here. I've been on Wheel of Fortune. Prices right. Oh, bitch, just find it. Come on with me. Yeah, I know, but you don't understand Spanish. She just said in Spanish that she has. She. She just said she has no clue who you are. Bro, do you not see her curled up in the ground, bro? I, bro, I can't let her go with you. So can you not? You gonna stay here? Do, do you not see you're her? To my woman. Uh, you explain me, I'm, I'm trying to get you, man. I'm like, of course, oh, it's so, alright. Uh, you know, I need money. I'm gonna get the best so I can beat this nigga head in, because it's like, bro. Bro, she not, she speaks no English. Do you not hear her speaking Spanish right now? My brother says she speaks Bro, I'll, alright. Let me see. I'm the one, I'm the one that's the one. Alright, bro. All right, bro. All right, uh huh. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna tell. And I'm gonna tell. Just so y'all niggas don't think I just let that shit happen. There, he get arrested. All right. I'm at thirteen thousand dollars a month. What more do you want from me? Hey, your kids. You already had me wait an hour and a half. So it's for my kid. Real kid. Yeah, you owe me that. And then with daddy? <laughs> no, that is. Oh my god. So. That's so. Go ahead and bring another steak and some potatoes. Okay. No, I'm going to bring no potatoes. Now bring the check. I'm paying for. I'm paying for my meal and your meal. I'm not paying for your kids' meal. She belongs to the streets. Would you date someone who's plus size? Who's fat? Yeah. 
No, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Chunky ones. Man, I love me a fat chick, man. More cushion for the pushing. Yes, I want to boldly go where no man has gone before. I was just uh, making this compilation real quick about how these women need help out here, man. You know, in this compilation, you'll see women doing all kind of crazy stuff. Um, she almost getting kidnapped. Women running around in beaches and on the beach and stuff. They they need help, man. Honestly, they, they need help. I'm not saying that men need to waste their time or effort or energy doing this type of shit trying to help them. But if they're in your circle, just give them a couple wise words. You know what I'm saying? A couple wise words to help, you know, just to get them on their path, the right path on uh, doing the right thing and, you know, having goals to accomplish out here. Because these women seem to be a little lost out here, you know. No gore oriented women like that. You know, we got some great women out here, but the majority is looking ugly out here, you know. So if you got uh, any women in your life that you really care about, man, I think you should, you know, lend them a wise word if they're not on the path, you know, if they're not doing the right things, if they're not trying to uh, uplift the, uh, the children around them and stuff like that. I definitely think you need to, you know, um, Put a wise word in if you could, man. You know, it ain't going to hurt you to say a couple wise things to the to the youth, to the kids, to the women around you. You know what I'm saying? You know, this uh, this world is getting crazy out here, man. And I think that more men just need to step up and step to the plate and, and say the right things that need to be heard by people that look up to you. You know, you know you're probably an influencer in some way. You, you influence the people around you in some good way. So... If you can just give them a wise word, man, because uh, I hate to see this shit get any worse than it already is. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to be trying to take a, a path towards steering it the right direction. You know what I'm saying? So all men that can hear me right now, man, if you could just give a wise word to the people around you, man, and try to uplift them in the right way, man, because this shit is going to get crazy. You need your platoon looking good out here. You know, you need your uh, soldier, your troops looking uh, A1 out here, you know what I'm saying? They need to all be standing up right, just like soldiers do, you know? They need that great posture, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you need to get them a back brace or what, but the people around you, they need to be standing up right, and they need to be straight on what they need to be doing, straightforward, what they need to be trying to accomplish out here, you know? But, yeah, this is just a compilation showing how it's a lot of uh, women that just need a little help out here, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you could be the one that give them a little helping hand. As you see, dude, just help the woman out. You know, it's immigrants out here that's going through stuff. It's, you know, uh, you know, women that's going through it, you know, uh, younger women, older women, you know, senior citizens, it's all kind of stuff going on. So if you could just be, a, you know, a positive beacon for people, you know what I'm saying? Don't put too much effort in. Don't get a uh, goal deterred, you know, from doing this. But all I'm saying is if you could just, spit a couple words in their ear and make sure they know and see the goal clear and they, they could keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's looking ugly out here, man. <laughs> y'all keep on uh, striving forward to do the best y'all can and uh, hitting the things y'all want to accomplish, man. Hey, um, silence is acceptance and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.